Yellowstone supervolcano eruption, how big would another eruption be? Sebastian Ketley of Express reports the supervolcano of Yellowstone is one of the biggest and most active supervolcanoes on our planet. It's one of the 20 supervolcanoes on our planet. Now, how big could another Yellowstone eruption be? That's the question. The Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could be one of the deadliest natural catastrophes to strike the United States and the world if it ever happens. It would be considered an extinction level event. That's why there is a mitigation plan in place by NASA. They're trying to put in a plan that will cool the volcano, which will take hundreds of years to do so that the eruption will not take place. Geologists who monitor the vast supervolcano complex have no way of telling if the volcano will ever roar back to life. However, the United States Geological Survey, the USGS, and the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, there is an observatory in Yellowstone. They are tasked with keeping a watchful eye on this potential threat, an eruption. They have to bear in mind that the devastation potential of the erupting supervolcano and these two agencies said they cannot dismiss the possibility of Yellowstone erupting again in the future. It may do so. Past caldera forming eruptions at Yellowstone are believed to have taken place 2.1 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 640,000 years ago. And there are those who believe that we are overdue for another one. Volcanic ash rejections from these monstrous blasts covered much of Western America, quote, a third of a meter deep, several hundred kilometers from Yellowstone, end quote. As far out as Texas, scientists estimate ash fallout covered the ground several centimeters thick. And the likelihood of this happening yet again in the next eruption are about one in 730,000 every year. But with these past eruptive indicators in place, the thought of Yellowstone erupting again in our lifetime is extremely terrifying as an idea because we would not be able to do anything to stop it and not much to protect ourselves. But how big would another Yellowstone eruption be? Well, according to USGS, the state of current volcanism at Yellowstone National Park points towards at least three different eruption scenarios. The least likely but also the worst type of eruption that could tear through Yellowstone is another caldera forming explosion. An eruption on this scale would likely alter global weather patterns and have a devastating effect on human agricultural output. USGS also said the probability of such an eruption in any given century or millennium is exceedingly low. The most likely type of major eruption at Yellowstone will be probably the hydrothermal one, an explosive blast of hot water and steam and not molten rock. Smaller examples of these types of hydrothermal eruptions occurring at Yellowstone on a daily basis namely wherever one of Yellowstone's geysers erupt. USGS said such explosions could blast off shallow craters more than a kilometer wide, as has occurred in the northern Yellowstone Lake Basin, including Mary Bay and nearby Turbid Lake and Indian Pond, and in western Yellowstone National Park north of Old Faithful, the geyser Old Faithful. All of these hydrothermal craters were created by powerful blasts of scorching steam over the past few thousand years, they said. Now, a third type of eruption that could rock Yellowstone is a volcanic release of rhyolite or basalt. USGS said such eruptions could range in size from smaller than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens, though much larger than the 1991 Mount Pinatubo eruption. But all of these scenarios at this point in time are hypothetical guesses at this point and about the future of Yellowstone volcanism. 
for now, the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory has seen no evidence of volcanic or seismic activity indicating a future eruption is at all imminent. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.